Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Hescox back. This is designed for my Life Science 7A class. We are starting chapter 2 today. Um, this is the whole chapter on cells. So what is a cell? A cell is a basic unit of structure and function. Structure meaning that things are built out of cells. Function meaning that cells perform the tasks needed for living things to survive. So before we talk too much about cells, we have to talk about how we discovered cells. Uh, without having the use of a microscope, uh, you cannot see cells. They're too small. Lenses are curved pieces of glass that focus light rays that travel through it. The light bends with the curve of the glass. So most lenses look something like this. And so over here, you have a light source. And that light travels through your lens, hits that curved piece of glass, and then it bends. And it actually increases the amount of light to your eye. That bending the light focuses the light into your eye and makes the image look larger. This is a microscope and we're going to label the parts. So up here we have the oculens, which means eyepiece. The arm. This is called the course adjustment. That little knob right there is the fine adjustment. We have the base, this is the light, this here is the stage where the show happens, that's your slide. These are objectives in here, often called objective lenses. These objective lenses, like this one here, says four power. So you have a four power multiplied by a ten power. Your total magnification is forty times larger. When you carry a microscope, you hold one hand on the bottom and one hand on the arm and that way you don't drop it. There's types of microscopes that we use here in class are compound light microscopes. Compound because they use two lenses. You use the ocular lens and you use the objective lens at any time. Uh, Zacharias Jansen was credited as the man who invented the microscope. Not to be confused with Bill Nye over here. All right so not to be moving on so fast but this is the end of chapter two, section one. Make sure if you don't understand, you go back, watch the little videos, watch this again. Uh, the things I would take away from this is you have to understand what the parts of the microscope are and what makes something a compound light microscope. Make sure you get your questions done. And until next time, I'm Mr. Hescox, and I'll see you. Be good. Be safe. Thank you.